While there was a lot of speculation from outside the team, there was never any pressure from the organization for Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. to return before they were ready. While it was hard for the players to watch from the sideline, they both appreciated the approach taken by the Nuggets and are ready to get back on the floor next season when they are fully healthy. Jamal, you, you told me at one point how this whole past year was harder uh, for you than you ever anticipated. What's it been like? It's been tough, but um, built for that. Uh, just depends on how you look at it. You know, it was I was in a dark place when I got hurt, and then um, as time goes by, you heal uh, physically and mentally. So, I mean, obviously, like as a competitor, as a player, and for me, like I care about the people around me and the people that invested in me. And um, to not play was really hard because I felt like I was letting teammates down and. You know the people that invested in me. I remember my first jumps were in the were in the pool, and it was like up to my chest, and I just remember the big smile on my face because it was the first time I left the ground in like how long? I don't know how many months it was, but it was just uh, eye opener for me. Uh, like I said, it was tough mentally because you know I'm all I'm doing is jumping in the pool, and that's the most I can do. So it's a real when I say hurdle, like that's like thinking about guys trying to stop you in the playoffs, like. They're, trying, they're really trying to stop you. Meanwhile, I'm in the pool jumping. You know, it's just like months ago, that's what was going through my head. Me being competitive, I was I was just ramping up really quick. You know, I'd had that surgery probably two and a half, three months before that. And I was feeling really good, just trying to ramp up and get myself back so quick. So every day I was playing pickup. And then I kind of had a little setback, which then kind of just made me feel like, okay, I don't want to do, I don't want what happened in Missouri to happen here where I come back too early and something bigger happens again. Yeah, it was just like every step you take is is a step in the right direction, but you're still so far from the finish line. You, it's just a marathon. You just gotta take your time and, and uh, try and enjoy the process. I'm not used to jumping yet. So. Did a lot of <laughs> 16-6. You see me now, the bounce is there. The control is not yet. <laughs> you know, I have some really great days where I'm like, there's no soreness and um, I feel like I can go. And then, you know, you have the days that, right after that where it's like, it kind of puts things in perspective where, you know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just not there yet. Um, and those are really tough because on those good days, I'm, I'm on my high horse and um, really looking forward to the future, but then, um, those slow days are, uh, it's tough to see the, the future after that, you know, it's tough to, to plan and, and tell you how good I am, um, so. Me and Jamal got to go through this together and we actually developed a bond and we, we became a lot better friends. He, he's a guy that's, you know, been going through injuries for a while, um, and so, you know, we, we attended church together, um, we hung out off the court. Um, definitely talked a lot more than we did when we were playing, so it was cool to, to you know, share that bond. As we were going through the same thing. We have more stuff to talk about. So going forward, I think that'll only benefit us on the court when we uh, get back out there together. How many wins? 48 wins. That's, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good with, the, with the us two. Seeing the confidence Aaron Gordon gained over the season, you know, Monte Morris, you know, Bones coming in, kind of seeing how the team evolved without me and Jamal was was pretty cool to see. Guys were in different roles. Guys stepped up in big ways and, and made the most of their opportunity. Kind of seeing the potential because when me and Jamal do come back, those things will all play a big role. You know, all these guys gaining confidence when we were out. So I think that'll be valuable. Is your best dunk ahead of you or behind you? Definitely ahead of me. I'm definitely more bouncy. <laughs> definitely more bouncy than before. What, what about stronger? Definitely stronger. Um, um, I've been lifting weights for a year, and so. <laughs> Is that part exciting? Think that when you have everything yeah, that's the thing. Like when it all comes together, it'll show. Uh, it's just you know going through the steps of it and going through the stages and phases. Uh, it's it's tough when it, you haven't seen it all together yet. So, I'm excited. I'm really excited.